his word. I've already given out tracks, which many people have rejected, but uh, uh, once we give the tracks, then we, we, we plant the seed by giving the word. So I want to encourage everyone today, hallelujah, the pamphlets that I've given you is about Jesus who died, on the sin, who died on the cross for your sins. The Bible says, For God so loved the whole world that he sent his one and only Son, that everyone who shall call on the name of Jesus shall not perish, but shall receive everlasting eternal life. God didn't send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world may be saved through Jesus. And friends, this is an important message for you today because when you die, death is not the end. Death is only the beginning. You have a spirit that will live for eternity. Do you know where you are headed? Where is your eternal destination? See, many people are worried about this life and what they're going to wear and what they're going to eat what they're going to watch on TV, but have you given a thought to eternity? Jesus loves you all so much that he wants you to hear this message. No one else died for your sins but Jesus. Nobody else rose from the grave on the third day but Jesus. We are not serving the dead God, we are serving the living God. And today I come here to preach a message to you that you are not far gone. You are worthy of salvation. And Jesus paid the price for your sins. You are precious. You are precious to Jesus. You're so beautiful to Jesus. Oh, can I pray for you? Yes. Let me pray for you. What's your name? Laura. Laura, you're so precious to Jesus. Thank you know, that. give me your hand. Just say, dear Jesus, dear Jesus forgive, me of my sins, forgive me for all my sins and come into my heart and, come into my heart, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. And fill me on my Please show me who you are, Jesus. I need you. And I want you to use me for your glory. Set me free and break every chain over my life today, Jesus. Okay, just, just keep still keep your eyes closed. The Lord's touching you right now. Just keep your eyes closed. Lord, break every chain today in Jesus' name. Break every chain. Lose your hold of it today. Up and out of them now in the name of Jesus. I pray healing, I pray deliverance, I pray restoration over your precious daughter today in Jesus' name. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Generational curses be broken today in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft curse be cancelled today in Jesus' name. Lord, touch her heart today. Let her have an encounter with you that she will know that she has met the living God. Pour out your spirit upon her, Jesus. Let your holy blood wash out everything that is not of you in Jesus' name. Let your fire burn out everything now. Touch her, Lord. More. Fill her with your love and your joy and your peace in Jesus' name. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that powerful? Yes. Jesus just touched you. When I started recording, there was fear in your heart and you went running. You, you went running because you heard me preaching. But then at the end, something happened to your heart. Something touched your heart and you ended up saying, Amen, Amen. He, what, what religion were you? Or what I'm religion? Christian. You are Christian, so you do believe Jesus? Yes. yes? I, got, um, I gave my life to the Lord at 11. At age 11. Right, because cause, cause when I started preaching, I saw you, you, you ran, you, you were really scared and you were hiding over there. <laughs> is, no, is there a reason for that? Or? No, I was just on call and my friend was, um, couldn't hear me. So, and I oh, saw, I saw that, my that's right. Pr praise God. Well, I want to tell you, keep trusting Jesus because he loves you so much. You already know that, right? Yeah. You already know that. He'll never fail you. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. And uh, you know what? Jesus is our best friend. He's our... He's our healer, he's our deliverer, he's our restorer. There's nothing that he cannot do. Yeah. I'm going to keep you in my prayers. What, what was your name? Laura. Laura, that's a beautiful name. I'm Genevieve. Hi, Genevieve. Hey, hey. You keep reading the Bible and keep trusting him because he loves you and he's got you and he'll protect you. All right, sister? High five. God bless you. God bless you too. Love you, sis. Love you, sis. Amen. See, my friends, the Bible says, For all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. That there is not one who is righteous. 
We are all sinners who need a saviour. And Jesus is the saviour who came to set the sinner free. Glory to God. No one is righteous in his eyes. But once you accept Jesus as Lord and Saviour, you then become the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and that God rose him from the dead, you will be saved. Salvation is a free gift. Many people following false gods, false idols that are going to lead them straight to the lake of fire. Jesus is the only one that paid the price for your sins by dying on the cross. Salvation does not cost anything. It's free. Hallelujah. Come and get to know him today. Hallelujah. Because he wants to write your name in the book of life in heaven. The Bible says if your name is not found written in the Lamb's book of life, you'll be cast into the lake of fire. God does not want anyone to go to the place called hell, my friends. Jesus wants you in heaven for eternity with him. So please think about this message I'm sharing with you today. That it's not too late to call on the name of Jesus. It's not too late to accept Jesus as Lord and as Saviour. Yeah, we're going down there. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Hallelujah. Do not harden your heart, but call on his name today.